This video presents a demonstration of an examination of a child with monoarthritis. The examination is followed by a relevant discussion, which mimics the short case component in the final MBBS examination. Can you examine the lower limbs and anything relevant on this eight-year-old child? On general examination of the child, a child uh, seems to be adequately uh, grown, grown and in May, but I would like to take the weight, height, measurements and uh, plot it in the chart and uh, check uh, whether it is following the normal centiles. Child is not pale. Child is not pale. Uh, there are no cervical lymph uh, lymphadenopathy, and uh, the hemodynamic status uh, seems to be uh, is uh, good in the child. And madam, uh, in lower limb examination, uh, I would uh, expose the child's thigh uh, and uh, look for any wasting of the thighs. And uh, there seems to be uh, obvious wasting over uh, left uh, quadriceps area and uh, the left knee joint is swollen and uh, I can't see any scar marks over left knee joint and uh, uh, it is not uh, red, uh, there's no red theme over the knee joint and uh, and also there's no vomit compared to the other side and uh, Child doesn't have any superficial tenderness and uh, I would like to go ahead and check the patella tap. It is negative and I can't see any uh, uh, bursa uh, being uh, bursa is having any swelling and uh, then madam uh, I want to check the movements of the limbs in which as the child uh, has uh, a large swollen joint on the left side I will uh, I would only do the uh, passive movements Flexion of the knee joint is uh, adequate, but in extension, uh, child can't extend it to uh, up to the full range. There's a deformity over the knee joint while on extension. All the other joints. no other large joint or small joint involvement and uh, no palpable uh, bursal in enlargement in the uh, posterior aspect of the knee joint also. So in conclusion, uh, I examined uh, this uh, child who, is, who seems to be adequately grown for the age and uh, the obvious finding I got was the left knee joint uh, uh, enlargement uh, without any with, with uh, features suggestive of uh, uh, 
quadriceps muscle being wasted and uh, no acute changes are seen over the joint uh, so in conclusion i think uh, this joint uh, is a joint which has effects of chronic uh, inflammation uh, and causing uh, uh, chronic changes and the uh, flexion extension deformity so in uh, to, as my dds i would like to consider uh, monoarthra monoarticular uh, arthritis in the ch child and also there's a possibility of hemophilia uh, being a chronic uh, target joint uh, in this child what is the most likely diagnosis uh, as the, all the other in joints are not involved and uh, only this joint being involved and uh, the features are suggestive of a uh, more chronic uh, arthritis and uh, no uh, free fluids uh, uh, I couldn't tell see the patella tap uh, in the child so with all these things I think this is uh, most of the time uh, a hemophilia child having a target joint what is the target joint uh, it is a, in hemophilia they have a tendency to bleed and uh, once uh, one of the joints uh, get uh, tra by, by a trauma or some accident uh, it, it, uh, it there's any bleed into the joint and uh, then uh, the the recovery will be occur by uh, on recovery there will be some uh, fragile blood vessel formation yeah. of the recurrent joint recurrent bleeding into the joint the healing process causes growth Granule. of uh, yeah. very highly vascular granulation tissue isn't it so it can lead to frequent bleeding with trivial trauma so there is a highly vascular granulation tissue uh, in the synovia so that is the cause for the target joint so uh, how will you categorize this child is it a severe hemophiliac or a moderate hemophiliac uh, seems to be a severe hemo hemophilia in the child as child is getting uh, having chronic uh, joint features okay so how would you uh, suggest to manage this child in the future mm. what are the broad aspects that you have to pay attention to uh, uh, then uh, the uh, management we can uh, categorize it into three categories uh, the initially in the acute part of the child uh, no, I'm talking about the long-term management now this child doesn't have any features of an acute bleed so he has probably recovered from uh, an acute hemorrhage uh, into the joint so on discharge what, what do you plan for this child advise the parents regarding the proper uh, continuation of the prophylaxis uh, then uh, start the physiotherapy and uh, continue them at home and, to and teach the parent and the child also regarding the uh, proper uh, physiotherapy methods uh, and uh, what do you what do you expect to uh, achieve by physiotherapy this recurrent joints can go into uh, can go in long term it might cause joint deformities which might affect the child's walking and uh, for that we have to prevent the child uh, uh, yeah so prevention of developing joint deformity, deformity is one aspect and on the other aspect uh, muscle strengthening especially the quadriceps muscle uh, because joint instability is another cause for recurrent bleeding so uh, by physiotherapy we expect the uh, muscle development and also prevention um, of uh, developing uh, flexion deformity right? and other deformities like uh, they can develop uh, various deformity of the knee joint.